Hello. Hooray. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome, guys. Um, tell us a little bit about why you're here and what you're up to. And remember, it's a family show. Yeah. Well, we're here today, um, we're in the live action arena. We're sort of promoting the fact that Fifth Gear is back on the telly, back on Channel 5 in the spring. Hurrah. And, and Vicky is pole dancing in the live arena. If you want to see Vicky pole dancing, she's in a oh. Porsche 911 going round round a pole, but it's still very spectacular. I wonder, yeah, wonder where you were going with that, Nidel. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, so I'm in a Porsche 911 cabrio. Tiff's in a Jag XJR cabrio. And we're doing some stunts, sort of a five-minute stunt um, throughout the day today in the live-action arena, having lots and lots of sideways smoking fun. It's very, very slippery in there, isn't it? It's a bit like an oily ice rink. Yeah, we like that, though, because the more slippery, the more sideways you can get. And as you know, we do like having a bit of sideways and having a bit of a laugh and uh, trying not to smash £180,000 worth of cars into the very solid looking concrete walls in the live arena yes um fifth gets back in the spring why did it stop because it's it, good it, yeah it never did stop this is a the thing there was a, a a story in the the daily mail by a journalist who hadn't quite researched their facts saying that fifth gear had gone off air and it was being canned but that's not actually the case so we're just here to say that we are back in spring that's been a bit of rethinking. We're actually hoping to start a whole new trend. We're hoping that we'll dumb up fifth gear now. We're going to try and <laughs> lose some of the bol I mean, some of the rubbish stuff that you see on television, and actually come back a bit more to proper having fun with cars, which what uh, Vicky and I love doing best. Have you got fellow reprobate Plato on board as well? Oh yes. We Who fear knows so. where he is right now? I know he had a slight evening, Did shall have, we say, it was last a late night, one, was it? Yeah. <laughs> or an early one. The Hilton Metropole has a lot to answer for. <laughs> Don't go in there if you haven't already. Um, let's talk a little bit about motor racing, because this is obviously a racing car show. You've both raced TIFF extensively, made it all the way to Formula One. Any ambitions to race in 2010? Always. I always want to race everything, but at the moment, most of my racing is just the, uh, unfortunately, Goodwood Revival meeting, which I'm delighted to get invited to every race of the year where I race all sorts of wonderful cars. But uh, if I last raced a, a, a Aston in the, in the GT3 Championship, I really enjoyed doing, but uh, nothing for me this year, but Victoria is about to become a full-time racing driver. Yeah, for, the, for the first time in my career, which I've been racing since I was 12, I'm now all of 21, um, I've never actually done a full season racing in cars. I've always raced one off here, one off there. So, But this year, I'm very proud to be associated with the Fiat 500 Trofeo, which starts in April, and there are eight rounds throughout the UK, so I'll be racing in that championship, which would be fantastic. Cool. Um, I've got to ask you about this girls in racing thing. Um, what are your thoughts on why there aren't any more girls racing? I know you're an ambassador for Go Motorsport to encourage more girls to get into racing. Why doesn't it happen? I think it's maths, really, because if you look at motorsport as a triangle and right at the top, you've got 20 Formula One drivers. Right at the bottom, you've got all these carters. If 50 percent of the carters were girls, the chances of them succeeding all the way to the top would be greater. But because there are so few carts in, uh, girls in karting, then there are a few girls on the next level, the next level, the next level. That, and it's just a numbers game, I think, because uh, girls, we can drive, can we not? <laughs> So we need, we need to entice young girls. Yeah, it's Enid don't, Blyton's don't fault. Don't tell no, Tiff don't, that. Don't we, Tiff? <laughs> it's, it's Enid Blyton's fault. Because, you know, when she wrote her lovely little books, the trouble is now, if you ask a girl or a boy aged about 10 if they'd read Enid Blyton, whether you want a cart or a pony, 95% of girls say a pony and 95% of boys say a cart. So I think you have to rewrite the children's books. Yeah, that's true as well. I mean, I was very lucky that my father was a racing driver. He raced in carts as a teenager for his country. And through his enthusiasm, he opened the door for motorsport for me. I mean, you know, it could well have been that he would have been a golfer and I'd have ended up playing golf or something frightfully tedious like that. Whereas Autosport opened the door for me. And it's almost forgotten yeah. now because it will be 40 years ago next April. So it's 39 years ago now that I won a, a competition in the Autosport magazine, which some people don't even know happened now. It's amazing. And uh, won a Formula Ford racing car because I had no money at all. I, wasn't, I couldn't even afford karting. And, and I actually won a Formula Ford racing car in an Autosport magazine. That's what got me going on the path to a racing career. You still owe us, don't you? Really? <laughs> we, we made you. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. That's why I'm here for such a big fee. I just want to stick on the girl thing for a minute. Um, it's not a physical thing, is it? Well, I always oh, think it is. I think mean, that's the problem. In the right at the final uh, element of, of motorsport, it does get incredibly hard to drive. And unless you have got a pretty stocky shape, uh, you know, you, I, mean, I think like Danica Patrick suffers greatly. She's good on the ovals, but when it comes to the circuit racing... Oh, yeah, stocky racing, Danica Patrick. Oh, yeah, she's really stocky. She's not. too... Yeah. That, no. You didn't let me finish. No, no, no. When Go it comes then. to the circuit racing, which demands more physical attributes, yeah. 
She's at the back of the flipping field. Right. I, I, how tall is Anthony Davidson, for example? Anthony Davidson is slightly shorter than me and slightly slimmer than me, not hard, but he is a fantastic Formula One driver and he should, you know, he should be on the grid. But he is not stocky and he can do it and I, you know, I've grown I've got quite strong muscles from racing carts when I was younger and I think that I would jolly well be able to hold an F1 car so on that same Girl theory power. on Girl the power. same thing so you believe in boxing if you put similar weight males boxing a similar weight female that no, would equal that's competition ridiculous no that's ridiculous you're trying to say they're the same strength no, because is it, it's how you Cut, use your strength no, within a Carry car. On. Who here thinks that women could make jolly good F1 drivers? And there have been five. Thank you very much. Boys, do you, what do you think? There's not a single boy hand up. <laughs> well done, sir, at the back. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, dear. Well, it's I do, I'm where quite do we go passionate from here? about it. Yeah. But it is, you, do, you don't need to be built like a big boxer because none of the Formula One drivers are. So, so long as you've got, you, you've got the correct muscles to, uh, you know, to adapt to your sport, then I definitely think that women can do it. And there have been five Formula One women drivers over the years. Uh, two in the Grand Prix world, three in club racing. Yeah. Uh, um, have you ever driven a, a big, hairy, powerful single-seater racing car, big... The, uh, yes, an A1 GP car I have driven, which goes over 200 miles an hour. So I've driven one of those. That's my, probably the most powerful single-seater. Did you seater. find it very physical? No. No. <laughs> cool. Yeah, no, I did. I did, I did. I did. Uh, but, you know, but what was the test you were doing, wasn't it? A straight, straight line, line test. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. Straight, no, but I think if, straights if, if, only join corners together. Yeah, they're not well, important. I'd love to see a well, I'd love to see a girl get that. I just think it is much harder for them than, than a man because I think there is too much of a physical element. I, I honestly, I think I think it's a numbers game. If they were fifty percent down at the bottom, then the chances would be greater. And she can drive, can't she? Oh, brilliantly! Yeah, you uh, you like going sideways, don't you? I love going. I was born Brilliant. to go sideways. Classic. Um, what else is happening? Any other uh, exciting well, developments? Only watching Formula One. I'm, I'm so yeah. excited about Formula One this year because it's just got to be the most open season we've had for years. And uh, with the Schumacher coming back and Jensen swapping, there's so many stories going on. And I think the field's getting closer and closer. And uh, there's going to be about five, at least 10 cars out for victory in every Grand Prix. So that should be fantastic. No refueling. Slight tweaks to front tyres and front wings. Um, I'm disappointed they have to stop twice, I've read somewhere, which I don't like the sound of. I, th I, I thought could Jensen could go with only one tyre boots. change, whereas Lewis might need two. I thought there might be an equation there, but I understand. Is that true? They have to both... You have to stop twice. I think so, yes. And you've got to make your fuel last, haven't you? Mm, could be good. Right, um, good to see you both. Uh, we'll let you go and... Um, smash some more metal in the, in the live Hope, action. Hopefully not. <laughs> Just go course, sideways. It's great to see Lord Drayson's car here. Le Mans always exciting. Le Mans still a fantastic event. Yeah. So I love sports car racing. He's also getting better and better at the moment. So I remember you finishing third at Le Mans Arthur, in, a, in a Porsche. Oh, yeah, oh, 1990. Well all those ways ago. That's anyway, but yeah, so it's great to see this car here. And uh, Le Mans, another passionate for that as well. All motorsports fun. That's the point. That's yeah. right, and uh, we're shouting about that here this weekend. Good stuff. Thanks, guys. Vicky Butler-Henson and Tiffany Dell. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.